Khan and uh, Priyanka Chopra's chemistry. Yeah. Loved there, I wanted. I think the movie should have been them Those two dudes, the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I love every second they're on screen. The way that they look at each other, you're like, kiss, kiss, motherfuckers. Like, Fuck everyone, uh, back with our Indian series. If you're still here after Ed's, my name is Khan Review. We thank you so much. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. Uh, we are jumping back <laughs> into the pool this week with Dawn. The Dawn series, actually just Dawn 2, because everyone told us, don't watch Dawn 1, it's terrible. Yeah, so, that was which, interesting. Which is like, yeah, that's the first kind of, like, there's been some discourse. Like, there was discourse with My Name is Khan, people saying, watch it, don't watch it, watch it because it's a nice story, you know. But pretty much virtually everyone <laughs> said, don't watch Dawn 1, but watch Dawn 2. And it kind of confused me, and I was like, well, I feel like I'm going to miss something, but... If you guys say so, we're just gonna follow. Yeah, you guys have to say, hey, Why yeah, not? we're we're following you. We, you guys know the territory. We trust you. Yeah, and, you guys uh, know the territory. Dodged a bullet, I hope. Yeah, yeah. You know. But this movie sees the return of Shah Rukh Khan as Don. Uh, he's basically this international international uh, drug dealer <laughs> bad guy, Don. Um, I, I wish I could give you a better. Uh, background of his character but this movie picks up uh five years later after the events of dawn one where you see a bunch of criminal bosses meeting to try to like kill dawn and then you you jump to asia and you see Shah Rukh khan as dawn himself and he's basically he's trying to he's living in thailand and he's trying to do He's picking up a shipment of cocaine, I think. I'm not really sure <laughs> what the hell he's doing there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Watching the first watching the first one probably would have helped us, but hey, you know what? He's picking up a shipment of drugs and then he goes and just beats everybody up because they want to kill him, which is a very cool scene. Uh and then he goes to jail on purpose. Uh he turns himself in and he breaks free from jail and sets into the plot of motion that he is going to steal the plates the plates to print money from the German DVB bank. And it's this heist movie. And uh, Ed, I'm going to go first again here because go for it. I loved this movie. I was so in from the get go. I was smiling from cheek to cheek watching this movie. All I could think about is like, all I could think about was, <laughs> why can't we have a James Bond movie where we think he's the villain the whole time and then it turns out he's the hero? Like, I, why am I well, rooting for a hero? Very I mean, much. Uh, I wouldn't call him a hero, but I'd. Uh, he yeah. definitely wraps up the day for sure. I mean, yeah, like, uh, dude, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It was like, hey, here's a here's this really cool guy. But you know what? He's a villain, but you're going to love him anyway. Um, I, I don't know. Shah Rukh Khan, you know, man, if. You, you might be too old and you're probably you're probably James Bond's probably be beneath Shah Rukh Khan. So he probably wouldn't oh, want to play, but nice. I would dude. Nice. If, if you told me in 2012 that Shah Rukh Khan was going to play James Bond, I'd be like, I'd be okay with it after watching I this movie. Don't blame you at all. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. What, what'd you kidding? think? What'd you think? This okay. Movie? So, um, okay. So I wrote a lot. I, I wrote a bit of a thesis for this one. Um, Oh boy. It's as if the movie is like if Scarface, Mission Impossible, and Ocean's Eleven came together. Stop. Stop. I literally have if Mission Impossible and Ocean's Eleven comes together. Right in my notes. I have it. I have it right here. Okay, I have it in you, my notes. I love that. First of all, I love that. But do you have the second part to this that I have? Okay. If Scarface, Mission Impossible, and Ocean's Eleven came together and bought a baby from Wish.com. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> so I thought the movie was okay. I uh, I loved it. Didn't I didn't love it. it. I love these movies. I got you. I I got these you. movies are great. The, the reason why I didn't love it is because I was basically really bored until like the like till they get to the bank. Mm. I there was like barely any story in the first like hour and a half. I and I yeah, Shah Rukh Khan's. I mean, Shah Rukh Khan's amazing. Okay, first of all, yeah, talk about I, going from a double feature of My Name Is Khan and then going to Dawn. I'm like, 
what the fuck? This guy can play everything in between. Yeah. I'm like, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's easily the best part of the movie yet again. Yes. Um, also, I'm all for the SRK uh, train. But yeah, I just thought that yeah, I know I, the story wasn't there for a long time. I, I think it would have helped maybe if we did kind of watch a little of the first one because yeah, I wasn't I understanding so too, the dynamic actually. of Vardhan until yeah. like later in the movie. I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, I think I would have liked this more if I knew what this was like. Kind yeah. of the, the backstory. I, I, I will agree. Like, I don't understand why they had to go get him. Why was he important to the story at all? Well, he, my um, theory is by because after you see the end of the movie where you realize, oh, maybe it was the, like. Don is someone who doesn't give a shit about other people, particularly those who are his enemies. Like he said, yeah, he doesn't forgive or whatever. And uh, so it was a part of his plan all along that he gets people that he doesn't give a shit about. And if he can screw them over and give them to the feds, that he's sort of this Robin Hood type kind of guy. That being said, though, that also plays into the idea of like, I don't I wasn't really sure if I was really backing Don. He's a fucking asshole. He's, he's sexy, but he's a fucking asshole. He doesn't seem to really care if people who are innocent dies because there's that long chase scene that ends with like this horrible crash where this random car just goes flying and then he like zooms away and he's like, and he just drives away. I'm like, All right, wait, hold on. Is, is this guy care about anyone by him, about anyone by, uh, besides himself? Like, I I'm not really sure. I, I'm like, I don't know if I can back this guy, really. I, I yeah. like him in a okay. villain sense, but I, I never felt like we were following yeah. a villain. And I was like, mm. I don't know. I don't know if I can like fully back this. But I try to just see as much of the Danny Ocean versus the Scarface as much as possible. In which case, if when I was seeing it in that light, I was enjoying it. Yeah, um, that's how I, I saw it. I think yeah, so. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I thought it was fairly boring until the last I, I my favorite part is when the heist turns on dawn at the bank everything from there to like the end i really really liked and i was that was entertaining but before that i was like there's a kind of a lack of action yeah like, the only gun fights you have are the beginning and then the, the end like the very very end and in between you get this like car chase and like most of it i'm just like i don't know i thought the car chase was well done uh yeah, at least it was practical was, uh, car chase was fine. yeah yeah for, i think it was, that time, I think it was well done um yeah i i that's fine I, I can I can agree with that. Like not like not knowing who this character is, and maybe we should have watched the first. One. <laughs> I feel like you, I feel like our audience may have led us just a tiny bit astray. Can, can I, I? I did read this. I did read what happens in the first one. Can I tell you what happens and why? Do, I feel like yes. I feel really odd. I don't know if I love this character. I'm not sure if I should really be rooting. Well, for I him. think so. I read a little bit about him too. But so go ahead. So what I know from the first movie is that he is very much a part of the the he's the man he's the second in command or manager of the original of, of the original um drug guy right the cartel boss whatever or something like that uh and uh he ki straight up kills roma's his love interest in this one he she straight he straight up kills her brother and his wife and that's how roma gets involved in the whole thing he straight up kills them Dang. and then by the end of the movie, the big twist is in the middle of the movie, you learn that Don, uh, there's a, they get like the good Don, which his name is VJ. He, he plays both roles. He plays VJ, who is like, he, he's supposed to be, uh, the, like the mole. He's, he looks a lot like Don. So, or they make him to look a lot like Don. And he's supposed to be the mole. And that's, he's like, why well, he plays kind of like the good guy the whole movie. The twist at the end is that that is not true. He actually is Don Don the whole time he switched places with the fake dawn you know and he's actually been the horrible dawn this entire time because it was all a play right. to get control of the drug trade mm. so i don't know man like is that a, a hero does, does that sound like a hero well, to you i don't know i i, I, I don't think he's conflicted i don't know I, I i don't i think you're supposed to be conflicted i i i, I will argue that because sure, there's i guess you know yeah, this is like know. Dawn is was actually a 1978. Yeah, first, it was a like, remake. It was it's a remake. remake, and it's yeah. he's he's a criminal. I, I for me from my perspective, it's it's interesting to see a criminal be the the lead of a movie. I agree with that. I you know, like that. it's not that was fun, but they don't go. You never go a lot of full Scarface, <laughs> right? You're never going full Scarface, but it doesn't you never, go either, either way. Yeah. yeah. 
You never you know. Like, you're not going on either side. He's not really yeah, picking sides. You're gonna, you're gonna walk that line yeah. so thinly. <laughs> exactly. Because you like you like, yeah, if you shot Rukan, are you gonna make Shaw Rukan like the absolute worst guy on the planet? Should we dislike him? I'm sure he'd play it really well. Yeah. But yeah, like he's a villain, but like in during the bank heist, I was like watching him, you know, do the acrobatic stunts and stuff, and I was like, you know. This kind of reminds me of the James Bonds I grew up with, with Absolutely. Pierce Brosnan. Absolutely. And I was like, you know what? I'm okay with this kind of movie. Uh, when, time, when did it come out? 2016? 2000, no, no, no. 14. 14? 2014? I don't know. I hope no, I actually, I think it's... No, no, no. I think it's like 2011. 2011. Not, 2011. Yeah. yeah so 2011. It's, it's, so, it's like 10, yeah. 12 years now. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a relic from the past a little bit. But, you it, know... It's kind it of, finds its groove at in the bank. That's the, the thing. Bank, it's like... The, finds its groove. Yeah. The second the heist starts... I'm like in it. I Yeah. I think the movie... The movie could have started there. I think that movie could have started there. Uh, and I really... May, maybe yeah. have some background go into, like, what's going on with the banker and all that shit. But, yeah. I think for the most part, I was just yawning though for like the the good like first half of the film. I was like, I don't. I've seen other movies do this better. And again, it is an Indian film, like I should. But I don't know. At the same time, y'all made bangers before this too. I said, I don't know. It's like you guys are good. Yeah, yeah. So this is. I expected but, but, more. To so, be fair, dude, this is our first. Well, wait. Is, when did Tiger come out? <laughs> I was gonna say this is our first action film from this. I think it was probably around that. No, it was, that was two thousand. The Tiger. Hold on. Or ten too. I think. The Tiger came out in 2012, so it was after this. Oh, after, okay, so that so, didn't, it, those things didn't even start till after this. But Ek the Tiger does feel much, much more modern than this. I agree with that. Yeah, of I course. think there's like 100%. a jump. There's like a jump in some sort of philosophy, I guess. Right? Sure, sure. Yes, um, yeah. Not that not that those two movies are connected, or the directors no. had anything to do with each other. It just seems like this feels more. Eck the Tiger feels more Hollywood than the than this one does. I would agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely there's definitely that that quality difference rung that's below it for sure. But um, at the same time, I, again, there's there is stuff I like about this movie. And uh, but uh, again, I was kind of bored though for the first half, so I can't say I loved it. I I probably wouldn't watch it again. Uh, but I, I yeah. there are some parts here that I I just if that if they just kind of focused on it more, I would have really loved it. The one thing I really liked was uh, yeah. Khan and. Uh, Priyanka Chopra's chemistry. Yeah, Loved there. I wanted. I think the movie should have been them two the good. whole yeah. time. Yeah, like her being forced to kind of help him, but mm -hmm. at the end of it all, she's gonna nail him right. Like she's gonna fucking. And that would have been so much better than like him just kind of by himself with Vardhan getting all this team together and like this other side chick that. Why did you need that side chick? She's pretty. I like her. But uh, but dude, Chopra was so much better. And like, yeah, she she gets shortchanged for like basically the first half of the movie. She's oh, in it at the end. Yeah. I love every second they're on screen. The way that they look at each other, you're like, kiss, kiss, motherfuckers, like get, go together. Like <laughs> I want, like come on. If they they do, there's the the tension uh, between them is, is incredible. And yeah. I wanted that's the movie I wanted. Yeah. So. You know. Look, hey, no, I I can 100% agree with you. I do think that yeah. they should have Priyanka Chopra should have been more involved in the film. Absolutely, like, um, definitely. Uh, I think that you could probably cut out. I just don't think you needed to include Var, Var, Vardhan Vardhan in it at all. Maybe yeah. maybe we're missing something. I really don't know. Uh, shout out to our boy Kabir. Uh, Hendrik yes, yes. making oh, a special cameo because I was like, there ain't no way that's yeah. that's not done, right? And then I looked at them, I was like, you know what? That looks like Kabir. That is Kabir. fucking Kabir. That is you. Uh, is that my gun? That is my gun. Uh, but yeah, no, shout out to him. That was a really cool cameo to see. Um, yes, but yeah, I like that. I, the, the part that I loved about the movie, I can completely agree with you. I think I was a little bored and like the, especially after the first scene and then the, the, like the escape from prison scene, I was like, okay, I don't know. but I think I honest to God, I think I really enjoyed that whole, that whole bank scene. Yeah. I thought it came together really, really well. Uh, the fight scenes in there, the gunfights, you know, his escape, um, the fake betrayal, which you knew, which you knew he was going to betray him anyway. Yeah. um i just like loved it and i think for oh, me i know that both you and i when we differ on films 
when a part of a film is so good to me, I can overlook the rest of it. Right. And you you can not. You you will no. hold it accountable for ev- everything. The whole film has to be good. Yeah. yeah. For me, no, I can no, be like, no, the whole film doesn't have to be good. I will – you're presenting to me a whole film. So I'm right, going right. to take it with everything you give me. That's, that makes that's, sense. That's, that's, I think that's fair yeah, in my, but, in my yeah, perspective. That, yeah. that whole final bank scene was really great when he – pretty much works out his way to get freedom immunity in germany and absolutely so and, go, and he goes back in and he you know cleans up his mess which yeah. i think he wanted to do he wanted to make sure it was all part of the plan yeah it was all, all part of the plan it all worked all out really plan. well i do think helping like us watching the first film would have helped a lot yeah with the narrative obviously I, at yeah. least with the bart han thing but and i'm glad we didn't have to gone. Watch a two and nine because that would have yeah. made our watch time five hours probably. Also, apparently, not a amazing film because like a, a lot of people were like, "Do not watch that movie." But yeah, but Don Two is worth it, I guess. You know, um, and I, I guess I try. I mean, I definitely trust you uh, because yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's probably it is probably better we didn't watch it because from the from the the likes of it, and I don't know if I would love his character very much. Yeah. Again, I still to this day I'm kind of conflicted as to. If I really should really be on his side, maybe I, that's the I point. wrote that down. Uh, I wrote that down. I said, should I – wait, should I be on his side? Right, should I right. rooting for him? The, I think it walks it just well enough for me to be like, well, I'd watch a Don 3 just to see how it goes. <laughs> like, wait, you know? <laughs> wait, you, the reason – let's talk about the reason you would. Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan. It's the, that's, that's the simple. reason you would. Yes. That's, uh, that's yeah. absolutely the reason you would. Like and Chopra, it, I want to see them together. I want. Yeah, see I feel like she, I don't think does she does does she do Indian movies anymore? I mean, obviously she she's does. she's largely switched over to American, I think. But I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. she's in. A, I think she's in a new Amazon series. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, then surprised. after this, it's not surprised to me that she went on to do uh, Quantico. Ah, uh, um, that's the show she was in. I was like, Where yeah. You? Well, she she killed it. She was awesome. But I just wanted more. When she when she does her fight scene in the yeah. lobby. Yeah, I was like, "Whoa, where did this come from?" I'm like, yeah. "That's dope." Like, yeah, that's, dude, she does a great job. The women in Indian films are amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. They get they're it. So- they get how to do it. Still, they get you don't how have to, to do make it. you. You don't have to make your audience really dislike the character. Uh, you can just <laughs> no. have a likable fucking woman. It's not yeah. hard. It's not yeah. hard, America. No, it's not. It's not it's fucking like, hard. They honestly, I think they absolutely nail it. Like she's she's not by any means a princess. She very right. much knows who, who, what she is and what you know what her job is, and she can play it stern. But she's also got that femininity about her that's just alluring, and alluring. you know she uses right. she uses it to her advantage as a woman, and that's just that's incredible. I mean, what a yeah. great way to rep you know your your gender alongside any other man. You know, she does a great job. Absolutely. So uh, I, yeah, I'd want to see them together again. Yeah, I think a, I think a Dawn three would be really really great. Um, and I'd uh, watch it. Yeah. And you went away. Bye. Uh, I guess that's all he has to say about <laughs> one, too. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, Ed's camera is terrible. Anyway, um, any other things you'd like to point out from this movie that you enjoyed, that you didn't uh, like? Let's see. No, I mean, I pretty much said that I, everything that I that I, I liked. Uh, I, I, again, I just thought it was a little thin on plot. It was a little thin on action, at least in the beginning. I think they could have really just had a, kind of made it about the bank heist. That would have been... Uh, yeah, probably better for it um, in terms of time. It's really weird to know? me because, like, it's clear that the Indian act structure always has like this kind of something to draw you in from the beginning to get to like a, a set piece, yeah. then a really long section That's, of you know. storytelling of something, yeah. and then whether it's like a flashback or the typically a flashback, part, it's typically a flashback. Typically a flashback, um, and then a nice big action momentous scene kind of yeah. wrap it all up yeah you know, that seems I, to be the you know i do think bit. it would benefit a little bit more if you did it the american way which would be start with the big action scene at the at the at the very beginning right and then you kind of feather in the how it all got set up I in agree. the middle i agree with that i think here's the thing about that that i i, I can understand maybe the, the problem okay but budget obviously yeah if you're gonna spend money on a big piece it has to be at the end i totally get that i again this movie was made for like pennies considered you know considering, considering uh, all things considered uh, america so i i get why that is and but he look we're kind of seeing it already look i mean like you know rrr um even like but but Patan, with the Patan, yeah Patan started with a humongous action set piece in the beginning with the helicopter right so 
yes. budget. I would chalk it up to budget as yeah. always. It's just a matter of money. And so uh, now you're seeing it. Patan, I think, just crossed like the uh correct us if you're wrong. I know you guys Ooh. will, but I think it just crossed the most profitable movie ever at the no. Indian box office. Yes. Right the freak on, man. I mean the yeah, it looks like it's Shah Rukh Khan, man. Again, and oh my Shah god, I mean, that, yes. So this between Ooh. here and then and and Patan, the amount of years, and the guy has not lost it at all. The guy no. feels no. just as young as he was. It looks as young as he was. I the guy has years ahead of him. I guess this is his like comeback year. Um he took I've a heard few years off. Him. Uh so <laughs> what a comeback. I'll say that. Yeah, so uh uh great, great stuff. Apparently, um, there is a. Uh, they would like us to react to the Jawan trailer. That is his. That's Shah Rukh Khan's newest movie. That apparently is uh, Red Chilies. That's his. Um, that's his production company. Red Chilies. Okay. They they started as like a VFX company. They did VFX for Infinity War. They do VFX for big oh, Hollywood oh, movies. Shit. Okay. Yeah. So this oh, was yeah. Jawan. J A W A N. Uh, but yeah, like after watching two back to back Shah Rukh Khan performances and, you know, now we're going to start jumping into the, the more deeper uh, Bollywood. Um, I think we have uh, oof, I, I, the horror film that everybody has been recommending for a long time. Oh, horror. Yes. I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah. The, the Indian horror film that's been, you know, so uh, uh, we're going to jump into that, I think, next week. But love it. Yeah, but I, do I, it. I get I I get the love and um admiration for Shah Rukh Khan. He is absolutely like he's a well in America at least he's a dying breed. You know, there's not a lot of care. Everybody in America gets typecast as something or another. Like now Shah Rukh Khan, we've seen him as the you know big titular hero in Pathan. <laughs> We've yeah. seen him as the more, you know, showing us kind of his really good acting chops, like not being able to show emotion in uh, My Name is Khan. And now we've seen him as kind of this, like, if we're being honest, an asshole villain. Yeah. Yeah, he is definitely an asshole. <laughs> so, you know, like, now we get to see him as this. Like, it's great to see that in Bollywood, typecasting doesn't exist. I mean, maybe you guys can tell us if it does. I'm sure it does. You think it does? I feel like. I mean, I'm sure it does. I don't know. know. I think it's kind of. It has to. That kind of stuff happens by uh it inevitably happens because that's just how sort of the business goes like yeah. sometimes you you go where the money is right you, yeah. you follow the money trail and sometimes it has to that is the way yeah know? that and, is the way this is the way this uh is the way. anyway uh yes but uh thank you so much for watching ed and uh that's ed i'm alex please like and subscribe if you haven't we'll keep this one super short don too i would recommend somebody watch this actually because i thought it was a fun movie ed would skip it but that's okay. I mean, I tell somebody to watch it for sure, but I, oh, never mind. He would tell somebody we're we're in agreement. Shocker. Yeah, uh, I, I would tell someone to watch it. Would I watch it? Like, would I watch it again? Did I love it? No. I mean, it was, it was okay, but yeah, it's still a fun time. Like, I, I can definitely see again that bank stuff was awesome. That's yeah, the, that's fun. The, the entire end sequence in the bank is just really fun. Uh, yeah, really good really spy fun. stuff. Mm -hmm. Loved it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, liking, thank and you. subscribing.